pregame live. We're at the United Center tonight for the Bulls and the Phoenix Suns. Our injury report brought to you by Athletic Coach, chosen provider of rehabilitation, fitness, and performance services for the Chicago Bulls. The Phoenix Suns are not listing any injuries. They come in healthy. Kirk Heinrich will sit this one out with a stomach illness for our Chicago Bulls. And back here courtside, both teams on the court. Welcome back, everybody. Should be a good one tonight. Bulls coming off a loss last night in Detroit, so they've got to bounce back after winning four in a row before the All-Star break. I'm Steve Cashel. Happy to be joined by one of the finest uh, knee surgeons in the world, Dr. Bernard Bach from Midwest Orthopedics at Rush and uh, one of the team doctors for the Chicago Bulls. And, Doc, thanks so much for joining us. Well, thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. So tell me a little bit. Your first question is, you know, the NBA changed the All-Star break. It used to just be four or five days where the players had off. Some teams had off as many as ten days between games. The Bulls had exactly seven days off. Was this a good thing for the players, or uh, did they not need the full seven to ten days? Well, I don't think there's any science that would document which uh, uh, time duration that would make any difference. But uh, intuitively, it makes sense that if you had a little more time to rest the body. These guys, as you know, this is a grind over the 82-game season. And you, they need the physical rest. They need the emotional and mental rest. And what you may see are some, you know, some subtle nuances in, in their performance in the first few games coming back. But I think in the long run, it probably helps them. Do you believe in that thing of, of getting your legs back, letting the legs rest for a week? Oh, I think this is, this is a uh, an endurance contest. You know, you know, being down on the floor, that this is not th this is a, a collision in the contact game, and they're playing night in, night out, and they need they need to rest their bodies. That's my next question. Now, 82 game season, as you mentioned, the Bulls will likely play close to 100 games, hopefully for playoffs as well. How do they manage their bodies, Doc, at this stage of the season? No, any changes to this point because it's the so-called dog days, but they see the light at the end of the tunnel where there's about 25 games to go. Right. Well, I think it's the same, uh, uh, alluding to the previous question, these players have two components. They have a physical component and they have a mental component. And when you look at the physical aspects of these athletes, there's probably not a lot that really separates the, the good and the great but what it really is, is the mental component of the game. So these guys have to take care of their bodies physically. They have to rest themselves between games. Uh, proper nutrition is really important. As you know, with many athletes, they get maybe into that, that uh, into the second half of their career, and all of a sudden, they start eating a lot better. They really take care of their bodies a lot more because they see that window closing in on their careers down the road. But it's really a, a combination of, of uh, managing their orthopedic uh, uh, musculoskeletal uh, uh, nicks. You know, all these guys uh, have some type of uh, uh, ache that's uh, uh, impacting them. And then the uh, mental aspect of the game. Joining me, Dr. Bernard Bach from Midwest Orthopedics at Rush, one of the team doctors for the Chicago Bulls. I love the numbers here. Dr. Bach has been doing this for 30 years, started in 1986. He's done over 11,000 surgeries, 85% of them on the knee and 200 or 2,300 ACLs. So my question to you is, Doc, take me back to 1986 when you first started this, how medicine, sports medicine specifically, and technology has changed with what you do. Well, I can take you back 40 years because I tore my ACLs in high school and college sports, but uh, the, the when the, the ACL used to be a career-ending injury. It's not today. Right. It used to be an, uh, a, 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 an operation that was only done on high-level athletes, not recreational athletes. Uh, it was a procedure that required a multi-day hospitalization. It's been outpatient for 25 years. Wow. Uh, the incisions used to be large. Uh, now they're limited uh, arthroscopic-assisted procedures rather than these big open procedures that we uh, used to, used to uh, perform. And the, the results are much more predictable. And let me ask you for the weekend warrior out there, Dr. Bach. I know we've been talking about the high-level athlete, professional athlete, but what suggestions do you, you have for people uh, who may think they have a torn ACL or a sprained ACL or a sprained ligament? 
what's the best course of action? Is it emergency room? Is it wait and go see someone at MOR on Monday? What, what do you do? Uh, I, sit, what do you, what? I think, for, first of all, the major issues are a deceleration injury, inability to continue playing, swelling within three hours. They hear a pop 70% of the time. They go to an emergency room. Our ability to make the diagnosis is far greater than it was many years ago. Uh, we don't do emergency surgery. We do surgery on appropriate individuals when they have restored their motion. Terrific. I appreciate your help. Thanks, Dave. Congratulations on a wonderful career. Well, thank Keep you it so going. Much. Thank Dr. You. Bach from Midwest Orthopedics at Rush. Back with Bill Wennington, and we got the Bulls and Suns coming up next on the Bulls Radio Network.